Hello everybody and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. So today we're going to go to the end and we're going to defeat the end dragon, I hope. Oh, she's got plenty of stuff. In fact, I'll show you what we've got prepared in a second. And I've also got a lot of iron golems around because I've moved too many villages. <laughs> I don't really want them here, so there we are. Anyway, let's get started. So in this shulker box I've got an emerald jetpack fully charged. Got lots of arrows, got another bow just in case. We've got some food here, which is pretty good stuff. This one's got 26 saturation, so we'll put that into our cooling uh, box in case we ever get damaged. Plenty of arrows, we'll take a stack out of there and we'll get these glass bottles out as well in case we need any um, a, a, any um, a dragon breath. That's basically what it's for, isn't it? And I've got lots of building blocks in here, so that should be okay. But we're going to upgrade it to Dank Fire. We'll do that first of all, actually. So let's have a look at the uses of this dank four, and we get a diamond one. This blocks of diamonds around it. I didn't put it in the middle, so we get a now a dank four. So it's dank four. It must be dank five. Hold on a second. Dank four. Dank four. It's the upgrade. So it must be must have more. Let's have a look at it. Bag. Yes, we get another row of um, uh, space in here, and it'll also be a lot more. It's just, it's, must be. I must be reading that. Never mind. In fact, the next upgrade for this one, probably netherrack. I'm not... Let's have a look. Another... Oh, no. Uh, crying Obsidian. Actually, I did find some Crying Obsidian. I'm not sure where I put it. Uh, let's have a quick look in here. None in there. I've just got some Obsidian dust, obviously, from the recycler. And Crying Obsidian, I might well have put into stone. I've got six. It's actually not too far away. In fact, we should find some more of that when we do stuff as well. I knew there was a use for it. Well, there we are. So, right, let's go over to the um, over to the stronghold, and I'll see you in a second when we're there. Oh, I need the chest, first of all. Right, let's just put the last of these Eyes of Ender in. And let's simply jump and go. Oh, well, <laughs> that's quite a long way away from this. Let's just put the jetpack on first of all. I should do that. Make sure it's enabled. Turn it on. And let's get started. In fact, it looks fairly different than normal. But we do have... Um, let's just let's just zap a few of these away to start with. I'm being shot at. Oops. I've probably some dragon breath around there. I should get my bottles. I've got my bottles as well with me, so let's get rid of this one. Oops, not shooting very well. But it is fairly straightforward with um What have we got here? One down there. That's oh actually that's even easier than I thought. No metal cages around them. If it, but we've got diggers dig, diggers maximus, so that's fairly easy to deal with those. Try again, but ooh, much higher. bit lower. I could go. No point in it. No point in attacking until he's finished. Oh, there's one more. And that's them all done. So we just have to fight the end dragon now, don't we? So it's quite hard to get his accuracy. I'm not very good at doing the, the dragon to be done honest with you. No, too short. I really want to wait for him to come towards me. And he sent one of his fireballs across, as you saw. Oops. Best time to attack him is when he's back on the ground. In fact, this some, let's get this. I want four, don't I? Couple more shots. Can't do when he's there, of course. You've got to wait. Right, got him. <laughs> Took me a bit longer than I liked it to do. Never mind. And there's my sword. I thought I'd put it, dropped it somewhere. Good. So that's fantastic. So we've probably got a few 
angered Enderman, we'll just sort them out. Here we go. Oh, it would help if I got the sword in my hand, wouldn't it? But they are only a one-shot mob at the moment. Come on. So they're obviously dropping other things. I think those are the only ones which are of any interest there. Well, we've actually got quite a few ender pearls just floating around anyway. But crying obsidian, we'll just mine this up um, here. So let's just see if I can stand on something. It's probably easier. I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, I'll just use the Diggers Maximus thing on here so if we can get it. I didn't mean to do that. I'm just quit the game back. So instead of pressing um, the, the graph key, I press the. Um, I press the escape key because it's just beside it. So now I should be able to stand on this easily enough. I was using, I was basically all mining up or excavating the, the obsidian. So there's some more around about here. Some up here, look. Anyway, obsidian is always useful to have, so I'm not gonna, that's why I don't mind doing that. So let's just do this one. Takes a few seconds. And we've actually got our eight obsidian uh, Crying obsidian, so look what we've got. See how he's putting it straight into the bag. Uh, I think it's because the tag bit's been turned off when I upgraded it. So we've got two of those, we've got eight ender pearls and 21 dragon's breath. I don't know what the uses for dragon's breath is at, are at the moment. There's the, um, oh, there's the dragon's egg. It's in an awkward position as it happens. What have we got here? Favorite. I don't know what that one is. Oh, better ends. We'll take. Let's just do this, like that. Or let's give all of this stuff up that we can find. And now, I'll tell you what, we're back in a minute. Oh no, I've got something else down here that we want to have a look at. Probably also a better end as well. I'm doing it again. Let's go straight into my bag. And that time I did see it go, I did see the, mo the motion of it going into there. Um, this one is, I think this is not the Silk Touch one, this is the Fortune one. So I put it into two. So let's just or excavate that up. Let's go back to number one. If he's going to be, if he's going to stand that close to me, I'll just bash him one. <laughs> oh, I've done it again. Hold on a second. If I, I'm very good at doing that actually. I like to press. I like to change the program on my stuff. Let's just open this one up and change this one to put enable tags, and that means anything that I've mined up here will go into here. So Enderman, no problem. Oops, I didn't get him in one shot though. That's strange. I would normally expect to get him in one shot. And it looks like I've run out of food. Oh no, I haven't run out of food. So well, let's, let's quickly go over here, because there's, there's... Oh, I haven't, guess I've got an ender pearl, haven't I? Because I've been killed a few endermen, so that must have got 12 ender pearls already. That's not too bad. So let's just throw one of those into here. Of course, with the jetpack, you don't really need to do this. Oops. Oh yeah, I did move. That was strange. So where are we now? <laughs> this is an interesting biome. This is the end, but I'm not sure which... I've never seen this before, so this must be a, a new thing. And they've got floating crystals. What have we got here? Is that a wood? It is a wood. Something squidging around, like a slime. Where is it? These things here. There must be sort of a slime type thing. Let's just. Then they're probably aggressive, I guess. Oh, look, yeah, definitely a slime type thing. And they are sort of. They do hurt, <laughs> as you can see. But I'm not sure what they, they give us. So let's have a look. See what drops we get from these guys. It looks like we're getting an ender pearl. So we've got 11. No, we can't be. I'm not sure what we're getting. Are they going into the back here? Oh, yes, they are slambles. Yep. And this is a, a dragonfly. Okay, that's sort of reasonable. I'm not sure whether they're aggressive or not. I'll have a check at my fuel. My fuel's just fine. 
Okay, interesting biome. But what I'm looking for are really some more different types of ores. This one just looks like... I would probably also need some endstone for that matter. So let's just mine up a little bit of endstone while we're here. We get some more of this one. But unfortunately, I've just thrown my... Oh, I've done it again. I want to get up here. The jet, I find the, the jetpack's a bit tricky, actually, to be dead honest with you. But there are some ores for N... For, oh, here we go. This one's probably one of them. What's that one? Ender ore. From the better end, okay. Right, I shall carry on a little bit. Some really interesting structures in this bit, in this end, and uh, probably worth looking at. But I'm, I suppose we ought to find a fortress, shouldn't we? Or not a fortress, um, an end city. Oh, they're going in and out of colours as well. What have we got down here? Is this water? Looks like it's a sort of type of water. I've got a bucket with me anyway, let's have to get a bucket out of it. Indeed it is water, okay. Bit of lag. Okay, let's have a look at the map. Shrink it down a bit so we can see. So there's the end city as we uh, as the end portal where we want to get back to, um, and the map's still sort of filling itself in. Well, let's go try going northwards and see what happens. Oh, well that didn't take too long, did it? No dragons ahead on there, which obviously that's good. Dragon's head is actually one of the things to do for the um, the backpack, wasn't it? If you remember rightly, it's just. Mind that up there. Shulkers, they shouldn't be too much of a problem, I guess. But if I, I probably could put uh, blazing on this one as well. Try it again. She's not dying, so we'll use the sword on him. And of course we should get an elytra in here, couldn't we, because there's, uh, we're in a... So which is probably worth doing. I probably don't need this, but as we got in it, just have a look at it and take it. Potions of healing, very good. I better turn my jetpack off. I, do you know what, I do have problems with my jetpack. What do we have in here? Some, uh, rather rotten, actual armour, that one. <laughs> Oops. Uh, gas tears. No, no, actually, that's not too bad. Um, industrial machine frame, fantastic. They're actually very good. Uh, tungsten steel ingot, very good. Energy flow chip, very good. So it looks like it's well with a shard of Zephyr, a wind mod. So some of this is really good, but a lot of the armour's got curses on it, which isn't very good at all. Beetroot seeds. Okay, so let's just take that one chest and have a look at this one. What have we got in here? Some discs, by the way, music discs. Um, some chrome ingots, which are pretty hard to get. Anyway, I've got, I've got enough of those to do the, the rest of the stuff. Tungsten steel ingots are also very nice. Diamonds are very good. Iridium ingots, that's also very good. In fact, I think that's actually one of the reasons for coming to the end, as it happens. You got an, no. As you can see, my inventory got filled up straight away. And I did put... I think I've got it in here anyway. I did pick up these two shulker boxes, <laughs> which I think was a good thing to do at the end of the day. Because they're already this one's already filled up, so let's start putting the stuff in here. So if I hold down control while I'm doing this, it'll also move things in stacks. Like that. That didn't take very long before that got filled up, did it? But we've got five gas tires from coming from the end, that's not bad. The prime guest gas tears from coming from the end, that's pretty good, isn't it? So, and there's the elytra. We might as well take that as well, because that gives us a, 
an achievement. I don't think it gives us a. I don't think it gives us a quest, but you never know. Right, I'm going to mess around here for a bit, and I shall see you when I'm back at base. Well, I'll say that. If I look here, I've got another chest, and it's got an artifact. Increases the wearer's maximum health. That's a nice one, isn't it? Um, Crystal Heart quest completed. Yes, there's lots of quests about this. Let's just... Can I shift-click that? That's disabled, enabled, and I think we can put that in somewhere. I'm not sure which where it goes into. Belt trinket slot. So the belt will be this one, and the moment we've got obsidian, don't need that one. Let's put that in there. And there's still, <laughs> there's still a shulker around here, but I'm getting loads of shulker shields. But this chest is definitely interesting. So look at it. So with this one we've got an industrial circuit, more iridium ingots, a purple coloured mold. So they're really the good ones at the moment, these chests. I like them a lot. Oops, and I've still got to put down my things. So let's do that. Let's put down this blue shulker box. I'll put that into number seven. And then we can put it down. Oops, I just put down some water. I'll just pick up the water actually. Put that shulk box and stuff stuff, shove stuff into it. I've got some endstone here. That's probably about maximum stuff I can get in there at the moment. So that's the end of that one. And that's filled up. I'm going to just go and get this other shulk that's round about here. So I'll, I'll do that. I think the the jetpack actually holds them into place. It's quite a have I got the jetpack on even? No, I haven't. Let's just go down. It actually allows you to go... It resists these. It resists the lift. So let's go back. Here we go. Good. So, I think I did all of that. Let's have a quick go up the top here. V. I've turned off, didn't I? Press, press F. I'm having, I'm having lots of finger trouble at the moment. I'll see you in a second when I find something else interesting. Well, I'm on my way back home, but I think this will do. Let's take some of this. This is sodalite door, and the use of that one, if I remember rightly, is to make sodalite dust. Industrial grinder will make aluminium and sodalite, and the use of that one is to industrial electrolyzer. Oh, okay, that's basically sodium, aluminium, silicon, and chloride. Chloride I haven't seen before. So anyway, I'm still on my way back to base. <laughs> this looks like a derelict um, entity. I've never seen one of these before. It must be in one of the updated mod things. Let's go down and have a look at this. Not probably not so exciting, but I'll just or excavate this stuff up. Some obsidian there. It does look like an because uh, it's got a. I mean, it does look like a boat actually. Looking at it, it's actually got a boat shape in it. I don't suppose they've got anything else that's interesting in here, but you never know. So a quick explore. I. Yep. Yeah, oh, a chest. Nothing in it. <laughs> that's unusual because the other chests I've found so far have been absolutely fantastic. I do find the jetpack a little bit difficult. It's just a little bit too fast. I don't know whether you can turn it down a bit in terms of speed. Uh, run out of space, let's just put the chest up there and put the purple block up there, and then that'll do. And we'll just take some of this. Flavor right. I'm sure this has got, I'm sure this is pretty important use because there's quite a lot of it around. What have we got down here? Some ends. Donor from better end, yes. I'm just checking what what mode I've got in here. This is actually relatively rare. Right, I'll see you when I'm getting further along. Oh, this, this is definitely what I was looking for, some tungsten ore. Let's mine all this up. Some more behind here. Oh, it didn't actually seem or oh, excavated to call it, but it didn't break the right key. So I've got some stuff floating around the system. Um, I have to press the... Yes, let's just press K. And let's put this stuff at the top here. Tungsten ore. Oh, there should be a bit of tungsten ore about that, because it was floating around. Maybe the others were something else. <laughs> I 
And I did some, see some more ores. Whoa. You see, right, okay, I'll take some of this as well. Don't know what the uses of it are yet, but we'll um, we'll find out over time. It's quite that seems to be reasonably frequent, unlike some of the other ores. <laughs> Tungsten would be nice to find some more of that. But actually, the one of the hardest to get is is um, what have we got here? Sort of the light door again. Um, one of the hardest to get, in fact, is, tita is titanium. Chromium's pretty straightforward. Okay, I'm going back home now. See you in a second. Since I did actually forget to bring a piston with it, I'll use the, um, I'll just do it the other way around with a torch and one block underneath the uh, dragon's egg, which you hit, of course, you bash it one on, and then just break the one above it. So we then get the dragon's egg as well, of course, which was the next generation, which is basically actually to make another dragon of, um, yes. Okay. See you in a minute. Well, let's have a quick look at what we've actually got. So we've got all sorts of yours. We've got some music discs from these chests, 38 uh, Shulk Scales, Elytra, uh, 20, end 20, 20 Enderpearls, yes. These are Shards of Zephyr from Winged Mod, Ender Ore from Better End, Sword of Light from Tech Reborn, Tungsten from Tech Reborn, and Shards, and the Dragon and Dragon's Head, that's pretty good. So we've got three industrial machine casings, which is actually uh, frames, which are great, because they're, <laughs> they're, they're difficult to make. Energy Flow Crystals, five en uh, industrial circuits. Pretty tricky stuff, but we've done it all. Uh, some Iridium or uh, two Iridium angles, that's actually not too bad either. So with that, and what I'm going to do next time, which is all prepared here, which is all quadrupling, um, I'm going to see you next time. And then, as you can see on my belt, I've got my little hearts. It gives me five hearts for that one. It's not too bad at all. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.